Today we're at Rock House Farm, which is in Paris, Kentucky, and the owner's been nice enough to let us take advantage of his barn that we uh, were privileged enough to build the stalls for. And today we want to talk about stops and guides and why they're so important. Uh, stops and guides are the most functional part other than the track of the door. And we want to explain why they're important, how they work, the different options that you have for them, uh, just to make it all seem a little more real. Uh, so let's go down to the bottom of the door and we'll talk for a second about stops and guides. Stops and guides play a really important part uh, in the door's role. The animal that stands behind here, which we all affectionately know as horses, they have a lot of power just in their, their body mass, their weight, uh, the power that they can kick. So stops and guides, number one, are keeping the door held against the stall wall so that no feet can get in between and cause damage to the animal. So if a horse were to kick, or if they lean, if this were to have a yoke, uh, the horse is held safely within. This is a guide, one version of a guide. It's on the edge of the door and is always in contact with the door as the door travels. Closed or shut, it always has this in front of it and able to contact. Stop is exactly what, it, what we call it stops the door from rolling both forwards and backwards. There's one back there and there's one on this side. And the stop is typically multifunctional. It stops the door from rolling too far and it also holds the door so if the horse were to lean or kick it keeps the door from being pushed out. to remember about barns is that no barn is the same and no barn is created equal and that's okay. Uh, the same for stops and guides. There are a lot of options available. Uh, this happens to be one setup where everything is concrete mounted. The form shoe stops are mounted on the surface of the concrete. The stay roller is mounted into the concrete. Just to give you an idea of how that stay roller works, here are the components that make it up bolt, spacers to get it off the ground located in the right spot on the door, and a lead shield that goes into the concrete that expands when you screw it down. That is the strength, and we're, we're uh, depending on the strength of the concrete, not the wall that it's holding on to, much stronger. Same for the stops and other guides. Some can be mounted into the concrete, not just on the surface. Uh, this one, for instance, would go into the ground and it would also hold the door and stop the door. Imagine that being four inches lower because the legs would be down in the concrete. Uh, there are wall mount versions where they have a plate. If you have a built-in wall or even a stall panel, would mount to the wall, door comes in, door's held, door stops, and it can also work as a guide. If it were on the wall, it would come under the door, it holds the door from being pushed out, and it works as a guide in that way. There are a lot of options other than what you've seen today. There are uh, always special situations that we're able to work with. So give us a call, ask us the questions, and we'll help lead you in the right direction.